have some updates coming to you and I wanted to cover those in Cricut Design Space and also in the mobile app. So here's a little sneak peek. We got notifications so that when someone followed your profile that you set up or they favorited a project that you shared in the Cricut community that you could see those notifications. Awesome job, love that. Thank you Cricut for that. And now we've got text wrap uh, updates to the bounding box and more control and we have the app experience. So let's go and take a look at those. So here I am in design space and right here you'll notice your notification bell and don't worry it's completely safe unless you set up your profile um, they're not going to be able to see you and if you did set up a profile they're not going to be able to see you unless you shared at least two community projects and they cannot see any of your projects that you have not shared into Cricut Design Space and made it public. So nothing to worry about. Your information is completely safe and it's lots of fun. So if you are looking for a profile right here, you can search images, projects, and profiles. So if you were to type in crafting with April and enter, you're going to see projects that I have shared in the community. And you may see a few that I didn't share because my name is April. Things like calendars and stuff like that might pop up. But if you want to see just the stuff that I've shared, you can come down to the bottom and click on the Crafting with April uh, profile button there. And then you can follow or you can share. Now, there's a couple of other little things. Make sure that you are saving any projects that you see that you really like from other people who have shared in the community because those are going to be popping up and it's kind of like an inspiration board for you. If you come over to the home screen, I apologize, if you go into your canvas and then you go, maybe say you're in there in your projects, you're trying to get inspired. If you look right here in all categories, right here, saved, you can click on that and it's going to create like a little inspiration board for you for things that you like or you've seen in design space and you want to maybe make those at some point. So lots of fun. I love having my mug design set up in here. So it's super easy for me to find. Uh, so make sure you're getting that profile set up. It's so much fun. Then let's see, let's go over back to the canvas. And in the canvas, well, actually, let's go to settings. Right here, the three lines at the top or the hamburger menu and click on settings. The application experience. We are going to be able to switch back and forth from beta to the live version of Design Space whenever we want without having to uninstall our design space and then come back and install the beta version or uninstall the beta version and install the live version. And you may wonder how that's going to help you out. Well, if you're having an issue and you're in beta because it's still in testing, sometimes there are glitches, you can switch over to the live version and probably correct that issue. Now, if you're in the live version and you're having a few issues, you might want to say, well, maybe if I try the beta version, maybe it's fixed there or it will work for me. And then you can simply swap over and use that beta version. So super, super easy that they're making that on us. And everything else is basically the same, your grid and your load type, depending on which machine that you have and what mat you want to be your default and what your print cut size default is going to be. So super simple and easy there. And then they in, in 7.10, they did add the notifications right there where that bell is behind here. I'll show that to you again in a second. If you don't want those notifications to pop up, simply turn them off here. And right there it is. So, and I'm not going to click on mine and show you people that have been following me. They may not want me to reveal that information. So I'm going to just Take my word for it, click on there, and you can see anybody that's followed you or a project that they may have saved you posted into the community. So next we're going to go to text. And you know, a few updates back, they took that big square box around that always froze up if we got too much text in it. And when you click on text now, this is what you see, and it's already highlighted so that you can simply start typing. And you can type happy birthday or whatever it is that you may want to type in there. 
Now, when you click on that, you can click in here while you're still there and make any corrections that you may need to make. Now watch what happens when I tap into the canvas. We have some new handles uh, and a new bounding box here. How cool is that? And you see right here, this blue bar to edit, double click your text. So if I, and you're only gonna see this blue bar about three times, and then you're not gonna see it anymore. So it's not gonna be annoying every time you want to edit text, it's gonna pop up. You're only gonna see it a few times and that's it, okay? So then I'm gonna double click and you can see that I can double click and highlight the whole word or double cl or click on it single and bring it in to the place where I want to edit. Super easy and simple, right? So let's click back in there and take a look. Again, you see it says double to edit, double click the text. Now you see those bounding boxes. These corners are going to stretch it, make it larger, smaller, help you in your sizing of your, of your text, whatever size you wanna do it. What are the center ones for? The center ones, look at that. Did you see that? It automatically wraps and you're only gonna see this a few times as well. So this blue bar, your text will now wrap to switch to inline text, click on alignment, or you can actually stretch that box back out, okay? So when you click into alignment, you're gonna see you can turn the text wrap on or off. The default is going to be the center of the box. So when you start stretching this box, this way, the bounding box, it's going to align its center that way. And then you've got your text to the left, text to the right and center, which center is going to be automatically default now. But you can simply change it. How cool, right? And there's just another little thing. When you hover over, you, want, you may wonder, where is my rotate box? You can still rotate right here on the toolbar for your text and your font toolbar. But if you hover right over this one, do you see that on the top right? You're going to get that handle that gives you the rotate. So that curved handle, when you see it, gives you that rotate. Super simple and easy. You can stretch it or hover over and get the rotate. And let's see, what else was there? There was something else I was gonna tell you guys. Um, that will help wrap. Hmm. I knew there were, I know there's something that I might be, oh, that's it. If you click on it with your mouse, you can move it around the canvas just by simply holding your mouse button. If you release your mouse button, then your mouse is going to move. But if you click on there and move it with your mouse button, it will move around onto your canvas wherever you might want it to be. And again, if you want to take that and go back to inline, simply do that, okay? Super easy. Or you can come in here and text wrap off and bring it to inline and it will not text wrap at all for you, okay? Well, if you do that, but you again, you can, that automatically turns it on is what I'm trying to say, yeah. So when you're inline, if you push it in, it will automatically, take it back to wrap on, and then you can turn that wrap off if you don't want it, okay? Super fun. So now let's pop over and take a look at the iOS mobile updates to this. Okay, so here we are in the new mobile iOS app for Cricut Design Space. And what you're going to do here is click on your text and you notice that you have a text box. Now we used to have to come up and uh, select our font before we could get text. Now it's right there. And you can simply start uh, typing whatever it is that you may wanna type in there. Now you're going to see a little bar down here that says double tap to edit. So all you have to do is double tap and at that point you can come in and you can begin to edit your text. Okay, and once you click in the canvas, you see there, you see it says double tap to edit. You won't see that until you are actually clicked off and you see that bounding box. Now, you're only going to see that message two or three times and then you're no longer going to see it. So it won't be annoying for you. 
Uh, so until you've clicked in the canvas, you're simply just going to uh, start typing and you can edit from there. But once you click into the canvas, you will double tap to edit and then it's going to allow you to edit from there. The new handles, I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, and you see that I've got my rotate here, but the handles disappeared. If you stretch it out, then your handles will come back. And you can stretch it using, oops, I went a little too small, from, enlarge and make it smaller from those handles. I'm just going to slide that over so, so you could see them. And then you see, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. I want it to fit on my screen, but I don't want my handles to vanish. There we go. And so let me just use that center one there and pull it in. Look what happens. It automatically wrapped the text. And you see that your text will now wrap to switch to inline text. Tap on alignment. And inline means that it's going back. Now you can stretch that handle back out and make it do that. And I'm just dragging, I'm just clicking in the box and dragging it if you're wondering how I'm doing that. But if we go and we double tap and we change our text, I'm going to say done, double tap to edit the text, but then that alignment tool. If you don't want to wrap text, you can turn that off. Or if you want your default to be the bottom or the top uh, in the bounding box, or if you want it to bring uh, your text over to the left, right, but the defaults are going to be center. So how cool is that? And again, you can turn that on or off. So I'm just going to minimize that, but now we don't have to select the text first, we can actually type in our text and then select our font. How cool is that? And you can see those handles working there. How cool. Double tap to edit and you're going to get your cursor in there. Super easy. And then you can go in and begin to edit your text. And super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you on the next one. Happy crafting. Please give a thumbs up, like, and a share. Leave a comment or a super thanks. I appreciate you.